Hi, this is Elisa, and this is my second video about SoftChalk. This video is, what is SoftChalk Cloud? So if you recall, I made a video previously about what is SoftChalk. And I talked about what uh, it is, how you would use it, and basically how easy it is to set up your own uh, lessons in SoftChalk. So if you want to revisit that, go ahead and click that link, and you can watch that video. But if you already know what soft chalk is, let's go ahead and move forward. So first off, before I tell you about soft chalk cloud, let me tell you just a little bit about how I teach and what my needs are when I teach. Well, I teach hybrid and online courses mostly, but the first thing that I want to talk about is that when you teach hybrid and online, you have an online portion of your course that needs to be served. And a lot of times instructors might just give their students more homework. But instead of doing more homework, we have to think of ways to engage our students in an online environment by creating lessons for them so that we can teach without actually being face-to-face. -face. So I have a need for online lessons to replace that face-to-face -face portion of the class um, that I teach. So if I want to do a quick lecture, and I don't lecture for normally more than 10 to 15 minutes, but if I did want to do that, I want to be able to have the opportunity to give that same content to an online course or a hybrid course. And I can do that with SoftChalk. I also need to have accountability for online coursework. And what I mean by that is, you know, we give students all of this stuff to do in an online environment, but we never really know if they do it. We assign chapters for them to read, and in a face-to-face -face class they show up, and often we can tell, hey, you didn't read this chapter. But in online, how do we know? So with SoftChalk, I can build in accountability. Also, I need a way to assess learning and give immediate feedback in an online environment. If students aren't there readily for me to say, yes, that's good, that's correct, in a fa like they do in a face-to-face -face environment, a lot of times they get discouraged. So I want to have a tool that will help me give that immediate feedback and also allow for me to assess as students are learning. And then lastly, in a hybrid and online environment, I need to find a way to engage students with the course content and oftentimes multimedia is a good way of doing that. Students love videos and audio and so forth that they're short and sweet and uh, SoftChalk allows for me to uh, give that engagement by using multimedia. So in a face-to-face -face class a lot of you will say well I don't teach online or hybrid why would I want to use SoftChalk? Well for one a lot of your students need remedial or extra practice for materials that you are covering in class. You may talk and you may feel like they're getting it, but once they leave the classroom, what do they have? Well, with SoftChalk, you can build in some remedial activities and practice materials for them to do outside of class and to make it easier for them to keep up with things. You also need to engage your students as well with the course content, and often multimedia will help regardless if the course is face-to-face, -face, online, or hybrid. So that's another thing that a lot of face-to-face -face instructors need to start thinking about is that you can embed a lot of online lessons and then use your time differently when students come face to face. And that's what the last one is, a need to free up class times for more student-centered class work. So I know when I teach face-to-face -face class, I like for students to spend a lot of time writing in class. And I don't want to take up a lot of that time by giving them a lot of instruction or a lot of uh, content lessons. And I can take that outside of the class and when we come to class face to face, we can use that time in a better way. So now that you know what my needs are and what your needs might be, if, you're, if you find some common ground here, let's talk about how SoftChalk Cloud can help. First off, what SoftChalk Cloud does is it takes your SoftChalk lessons that you created. I showed you how to do that in the first lesson. And it stores them in the cloud, so hence SoftChalk Cloud. So here you can see on my SoftChalk Cloud page some lessons that I've created for English 102. It makes the lessons available in an online environment. So here you can see my lesson that I created on understanding research is available online. And then underneath it, there's a description of it, and there's also these links that will allow me to share the lesson with anyone that I want. Well, I want to share it with my students. So I want to use one of these two links to put it in my LMS. So at GCC, we are using Canvas, and I am able to add my SoftChalk lessons that are in the cloud to Canvas. Now what it does is it allows for me to then monitor whether or not students are participating in the lesson. 
So instead of just say, here's a handout, read this handout on understanding research, I can click on the lesson or assign the lesson that students click on, and this is what I see. I see what the activity is, and then I can see which students have started participating. So here you can see my student Destiny has done this activity. There is a score of possibly eight, and she scored eight. I can see when she did it, 5.30 a.m., and she only needed one attempt to do it. So now I can give Destiny credit for participating in this online lesson. Now the student doesn't see this. The student will see the actual lesson. And here's the lesson. There's some audio there that's playing. The student can go through this lesson. This is a pretty lengthy one. And once they're done with the lesson, they go to the next page. And throughout the lesson, I have integrated some questions for the student to answer and make sure that they're interacting with the uh, content of this lesson. So each week, the student is presented with lessons, as you can see in this module. Lessons, 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 all here. Not all are soft chalk lessons. But when a student goes into a unit page, which covers a week's worth of material, they can see what it is that they need to do for that week. I give them some notes about what their focus is, how much time they would spend on this week, the objectives, and as they scroll through, each week is the same. They'll, they'll be reading, and then there's lessons. So here you can see that the student, and this is my opportunity to teach them something, will go through these lessons. I can verify that they actually did it because Soft Chalk has created the opportunity for me to do that. Okay. So here's another example, lesson 1.2. My student Destiny has gone in. She earned her two points. There were only two questions for this one. And then what the student will see is the actual lesson. And in this lesson, there was a video embedded. So instead of just saying, watch this video, I embed it into a soft chalk lesson, and then I give the students quiz me's. Did you really watch that video? Answer these questions. And that is great for holding students accountable for the work that I need for them to do in the online or hybrid environment. So how did I get those lessons into Canvas? Well, it's really easy. Let me quickly show you by adding one to my Canvas course right now. I'm going to go ahead and add it to Module 5 so no students will see it. Drop down menu, add content. Now at our school, we already have the external tool added. So if you're on GCC's Canvas, you will see, after you choose Add External Tool, you will see SoftJock Cloud pop up. Once that pops up, you have two things to add, the URL and then a page name. So I'm going to go over to SoftChalk Cloud. I'm going to grab this, grab this LTI hyperlink. This is the one that you're going to use if you have SoftChalk installed in Canvas. If you don't have it, you can just use the perma, permalink here, and it's just a link. It doesn't keep track of your students, however. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one, copy it, then go back to Canvas type in the URL, and then give it a lesson, so test lesson. Okay, I want to go ahead and indent it just to keep consistent here, and I'm going to add the item. So there it is, right there. So when I click on that, I, as the instructor, will see this score center. No students have taken this because I just added it, but my students will actually see the lesson. So that's easy to install SoftChalk lessons into your Canvas course. So that's pretty much it. That's what SoftChalk Cloud does for you. It helps you, well it does more, but it helps you keep track of your students' lessons. You can do it in numerous ways. This is just the way that I happen to do it. They also have a thing called My Score Centers, and basically you can keep track of your scores for any given um, lesson here in the cloud. So in this scenario, I can see down here with Lesson 1.1 that I had 14 attempts and with 11 different students. And I can click on the Grades tab and see from this particular view my students who have participated, what their score is, when their attempts were, and then if they had multiple attempts, I can click this to see when they actually tried that. So it's just another way of keeping track of your students and their activities within your lessons. So that's it for this lesson. I hope it was helpful.